Sanaa Lathan makes her directorial debut in a new film on the come up. What's up everybody welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film On The Come Up which made its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival 2022 and then will be available on Paramount Plus September 23rd. Yeah this film was a film that I was super interested in checking out. I mean the cast itself I mean again Sanaa Lathan being a, uh, the, in her directorial debut um, is always going to make me interested. You have folks like Method Man, Mike Epps, um, just, you know, and, and I'll lead J Jamila Gray, who, you know, obviously is new. Want to see what a new actor can do with such a well-respected director in her directorial debut, which means there's a lot of work within one another to kind of make these characters, the character come to life. You got other folks in here like Lil Yachty. And, and then obviously because this, this film is um, by a novel, uh, which the novel by Angie Thomas is also notable because it's also from the hate you give so like these things all connect and i'm like okay there's enough right here for me to want to check it out now i am not a musical fan i'm not and this one definitely was pulling my tie because considering that this character here um in brie played by jamila gray jamila c gray um she is 16 year old she's a star wars nerd um and and you know she just want to show the world that she has skill you know and she is her father's daughter her father was somebody that was respected on the streets uh you know a hard lyricist like you know when it came down to battle rap everyone knew who he was so she kind of took the mantle as his young protege the next one up now that he's gone you know and and her mother is a heroin addict which has been a challenge for her a recovering addict um from heroin and and so you know she's just trying to make things work but also make things meet and battle rap pays for her so essentially when you talk about the title on a come up i mean this is described as if you don't know on the verge of blowing up or you know getting ready to make some serious noise out there so you know this 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 film has like a, a flow of poetry to it you know as we see this 16 year old girl you know really discovering herself you know making her own path even though everyone car car carved out her their path for her um and, and 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 then you know she she channels her inner consciousness and and, and then she gets the rhyming <laughs> and then there's the rap so like what i as the musical aspect every moment that she can rap she does in between scenes almost like narration like ugh, i'm not really not really a fan of that but it is what it is if you have music if you like musicals then it's right down your alley and she is considered the princess of the garden because obviously her dad was the king of the garden the area that they're from now the film is super woke and it's absolutely targeted towards mature audiences um because they're going to use all sorts of references that you're going to be familiar with you're talking about the riots you're talking about trayvon martin references all those sorts of things are in this you know so as i said it's very woke um and then the rap bar <laughs> the beats were tight but you know the rap was okay and i just started to become curious on how the battle rap culture was going to take to this film but then she has a song that's called on to come up which becomes her big hit so like that worked on the title as well too which was kind of dope you know what i mean um and as i said there's a lot of star power in this from method man mike epps Lil yachty you little yachty actually gets involved in the battle rap which i did not see that coming but hey kind of bodied it now i'm not even gonna not even gonna shade him there um so her mother jada who i say is a recovering addict uh and, and she's looking to really become more of a mother to her daughter i mean obviously her addiction has caused a little ripple between the relationship but now she's trying to figure out ways to do it um and and, and then also you know brie is also really trying to figure out you know her means of making it you know so this is a young girl the world is big at 16 dad's not there mom is barely there you know finances aren't really adding up and then a ton of influences both good and bad are all circled around her um and and, and with that too you know she learns and, and i think this is another important thing i think rappers also get some tidbits out of this i mean she learns the hard way about rapping about 
things that you're not really about. You know, when rappers out here be rapping about lives that they're really not living. So all that's kind of in there and whatnot. Don't be putting lyrics in your rap if you're not really about that because you will be held accountable, which is a theme in this film, which is a message taken from this film to all inspiring rappers. Um, but I, I, I think that, you know, uh, you know, I think this, this also sheds light on like how lyrics and songs can impact one's lives and uh and, and and just sort of understanding that the cost for making a dollar if you're not making it ethically should i add you know so anyway you know i i will say that you know there's tons of reactions to actions that are happening in this film and i think this is a film really talking about accountability on all accounts you know um and, and i think that when you when you when you uh also think about this young uh, this young girl and being 16 and Brie and you know her father not being there and her mother the challenges in a relationship with her mother and this 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 pressure to kind of live up to the legacy of your dad but also just trying to do things your way like very passionate about being a nerd even though that the world around her doesn't want her to be a nerd but she injects it into her lyrics and she tells people you're just gonna have to respect it because this is who I am I, I I really like the messages that come out of this film really the, the bars in the final act was dope, and I thought the solid performance was dope. I gotta say that seeing Brie kind of really come into her own in this character as the film got deeper and deeper, I appreciated it. Like, really, really did. Uh, and I think that, you know, uh, Sanaa Lathan is playing the mother in Jay, or Jade. Uh, I think that, like, these moments in these films uh, just were really special from the mother-daughter moments from... Brie just really bodying this character, growing confidence. I think not only just confidence in the character, but I think confidence in herself. I think like, you know, her as a as an actor, I just really seeing that sort of confidence towards the end of this film really brought the film home solid. The film is definitely towards mature audiences. You know, I think that, you know, it's a little campy to my age group, but I appreciate it. I know what it wants to do. But I think it's much more about this demographic of 16 to maybe 25 and folks that are young. The world is big. They're trying to figure out what they want to do, whether they want to be a rapper or whether they're just trying to carve out a new path in their life, except for the instead of the one that is assumably, presumably given to them based on everything that their parents have done before now. So like I, I like the message being told here on that note. Uh, and I, I think the folks are going to check this film out. I think, you know, Sanaa Lathan brings an, enough attention uh, by name alone in her directorial debut, which I think she did a fantastic job. Cannot wait to see what she does next. Cannot wait to see what um, what Jamila does next. I keep I'm getting the names confused here. I can't wait to see what Jamila does next. I thought her outing as Brie was solid um, and so on. So, you know, we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Um by the way, this film does hit a lot of different representation from the LGBTQ plus community, uh, from the black community or, or people of color or minorities. I think they hit a lot of different things in this film. So, like I said, it's very woke, very conscious, which is good because you want to see more representation in films. And this film definitely checked a lot of boxes on that note. But check it out. Paramount Plus, September 23rd. This is on the come up. Jump in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about this. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.